Okay, so at the end of the last video, we just fought off a massive wave of enemies and gained access to this AGI in this very, uh, very clean area of the city. And now we're on to the boardroom to discover what happened. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I think we're on part nine of our Ascent gameplay walkthrough here. I'm pretty sure it's nine. I think. I don't know. I've lost track. We're doing a lot of videos on this game. Hope you guys have been enjoying them so far. If you're tuning into this one, I'm assuming that you've already watched the others. If not, then if you don't want spoilers, make sure you go find The Ascent Part 1 so that way you can watch the whole thing through. And of course, while you're here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment for me as well. I'm always curious about your thoughts, and of course, I want you guys to uh, be a part of what I do here. So that said, let's go ahead and get started on this. Let's reach the boardroom and see if we can figure out what happened in this place. Here we are. This was locked down previously. Got a skill point laying around. Entry barred. I wish overwhelming firepower could clear the way, but it should be possible to override the locks from the nearest security console. Hmm. There we go. Operative, we need you to access the boardroom console so that we can download the telemetry of what happened here. Downloading relevant telemetry data. Playback beginning. And we have offered Malthor's Gelp quite favorable terms. Next, we must discuss the Habnet Tech acquisition. What's the meaning of this? Decane? What are you doing in here? Security? AGI? Security is gone. The AGI will soon answer to new masters. The AGI will what? What have you done? I've struck a decisive blow against your insidious plans for a foreign domination in this galaxy. The Ascend Group will fall. I see the AGI has shot itself down and activated 61A. Did you try to re-imprint it? You know better than to... Shut down? No. The Ascent Group and Project Menshen will belong to the Malhurst Gel Corporation under my leadership and direction. You sold us out to Malhurst Gel? Traitorous scum? I dedicated my life to the Ascent Group. Decades of unswerving loyalty. Ah, so this is not about some far-fetched conspiracy theory of a foreign domination. It's about you being passed over for promotion. Like all sapiens, you are a slave under your capricious emotions, Decay. The Mention Portal technology will transform the galaxy. But to think that we would give that kind of responsibility to you is as arrogant as it is stupid. This is exactly why we wouldn't promote you. And yet here we are with me about to take control of the entire Ascent group instead. Under Malhorst Gelb, the Ascenders will never accept that. They'll be in dead revolts on all tiers. I control the Ascenders now. They will do what I tell them. Decay, it's not too late. The AGI is in shutdown and can be restored. We can offer you a very generous severance package and... No, it is you who will be severed. I hereby vote to relieve the entire Ascent Group Board of its duties, effective immediately. This is utter nonsense. Decane. All in favor? I... Wait! Don't... The eyes have it. <laughs>
aggregated quite a debt with us in debt. I have come to collect. One heck of an entrance there, dude. You My god. That guy just goes, it's just business. Yeah, yeah. All right, we kill these uh, left and right hand guys and we focus on big hammer guy. Oh, interesting. Looks like he's rather immune to fire. He's got so much health. Onyx Void always completes a contract. You are unwise to make us your enemy. <laughs> You're the one that came after me, dude. The music is always a great vibe in this game, though. Right on. Do you even know who your real employer is? Such ignorance. Your enemies must really hate doors. <laughs> Decane showed surprising ruthlessness for a sapiens. One can almost admire her audacity. Did she go to Malhorse Gelb, or did they come to her? We've never heard of a hostile takeover attempt quite this insidious before, or on this scale. Astonishing. You've become quite the combat specialist operative. You may lack a certain murderous finesse, but you do get the job done. With much slaughter, yes. OV are giving up on the other attacks as well, so we're good for now. Hmm. The Ascent Group was developing an Einstein Rosen wormhole gate. That's what Project Mention is. Such a gate will make all travel across interstellar distances instantaneous. Whoever controls it will control the known galaxy. There have been prior attempts at creating such technology, but according to what limited reports we have, they all ended in catastrophic failure. Entire research teams wiped out, though we have little knowledge as to why. Decane apparently tried to trade Mention to Malhorst Gelb in return for being made CEO of the Ascent Group as a subsidiary to MG. But her plan failed when she couldn't re-imprint the Ascent Group AGI. We can assume she is still trying to finalize her deal with Malhorst Gelb. We believe she has fled to the Menshen Project Chambers, and she clearly has the Ascenders on her side. Decane's deal with Malhorst Gelb also explains how the Ascenders have gotten so heavily armed. MG must have smuggled weapons into the Arcology for some time. Our next and final objectives are to eliminate Decane and secure Project Menchen for Y Corp. We believe the Menchen chambers are located somewhere on the sublevels. You can begin making your way there while we pinpoint the exact coordinates. All right, so that was all a thing that happened. Yes. We are leveling up like crazy this last couple missions as well. All right, board meeting completes. Now to do root access. We gotta go to the deep stink level. Leveling up evasion was the right move. We can evade so much more often now. All right, that fight wasn't bad. The big thing was is his hammer, uh, when he hit the ground with it, would send waves of damage in three different directions. But then I just kind of learned how, like where they would go. So you could just stand in between them. 
operative. We have decided to enlist Noghead directly in this endeavor, since he seems incapable of keeping his filthy quiche fingers out of our business. Being called filthy fingered by a self-serving cold heart of foreign bitch is high praise indeed. <laughs> I know where Menchen is. Seems it was right under our collective wrinkled nose the entire time. I've analyzed the classified arcology blueprints. You're gonna feel right at home, buddy, because it looks like the whole thing can be found down on the maintenance sublevels in the deep stick. You must All right. appropriate the Menchen facility for Y Corp, and a cane is to be terminated on site. Get this done. And your contract with us will be considered fulfilled, operative. Fulfilled, you say? I wonder what, uh... What the angle is of the... What is it? A, a, and foreign? A foreign? Remember protocol 61A? That was an ascent group backup plan a last resort it created y corp with everything in place including a fledgling agiani it's like the uh. ascent group spawned a kid just before it was damaged beyond repair one who would take over everything including mention but the kid is like a ball of newborn it doesn't know shit from Genoa. that's why they had you securing the data and such first can you imagine the amount of resources they must have had to just have a spare agi lying around Waiting to be activated? Mind bending! <laughs> what we're doing here is helping a set group save itself. Also, some of board owners somewhere could keep lining their pockets at you and me? So why Corp was poor? <laughs> Your imp's getting cocky. Now let's do this. Planet on some level bridge and found some very interesting thing at all with your on the spot here. Ways of management disposal plan 21 G. Don't showcase any obvious access points to that area, but it looks like it can be reached via a maintenance tunnel near the WMD plant itself. I sent the coordinates here in. There are many of these guys here. Jeez. There's so many. It's good experience though. We're already halfway to the next level and we just leveled up like two minutes ago. So that's kind of nuts. Keep them coming. I'm at the point now where it comes to like enemies like this where I'm not even paying attention to where they are. I'm just looking at the mini map and firing in those directions on the mini map. And it's working. Nope, hold on. Hold on. Skill points. How nice of them. My own grenade just hurt me. Is that what just happened there? I 
I couldn't tell if my own grenade hurt me. I just saw that I took damage, but it could have been from all the enemies right there, so. What's this? A maintenance log. This area just makes me want to uh, play Dead Space. This area reminds me so much of areas in the Ishimura. It is being remade, so that's really cool. I cannot wait. Mission status, press up anytime. Let you bring up your currently tracked objective. Yes, yes. I think this is like uh, towards the beginning of the game. We're crossing that same area. Map segments, yeah. So we're back in the beginning area where we first started, which kind of makes sense because I remember there being a path back this way that I couldn't like get through. Yeah, right here. It just wouldn't open for me. And now it all makes sense. I see water down below. Constant shaking. We're picking up ascender communication, ordering them to set up defenses around Menshin. Expect them to be augmented by Onyx Void resources. All right. Looking rather bloody down here already. I love that if you corner yourself, the robots claim to form like a protective wall around you. Oh yeah, that's what's up right there. this shockwave the range on that one why are you running away <laughs> my man just ran off all right there you are Yeah, our damage is real, guys. Yes, hi, hello. I'm here again. Oh, 
Oh, I love it. Okay. This grenade has quickly become my favorite tactical ability in the game. That was good stuff. Also, I got to respect the amount of moving parts that were just on the screen and no FPS drops. Got to respect it. Oh, we got some big guys here. Hello. Okay, my grenades do hurt me for sure. Also, this game really wants me to use shockwave grenades. That's all these guys are dropping me. The amount of enemies we're encountering in this very small area. Holy. Yeah, I always respect the game that can have this many moving parts on on a, on a single screen and have no drops in frame rate performance. It's nice to see. ground absolutely littered with all sorts of stuff <laughs> Jeez. look at that level 24 who'd have thought that we'd level up with all the action here oh that actually hit me i thought i was out of range of that mortar i guess not i thought i was outside of that red circle that really sucks. Uh, we still got the level up though. Let's max out evasion and start building up health. There we go. That was really unfortunate. My fingers are very tired already. Good news is that like, you really can't miss when there's this many enemies. Well, 
well then. Alright, we should have another wave right about now. Yes. Luckily, these guys drop all sorts of pickups everywhere, so we can just keep the health going. Okay, literally nothing but shockwave grenades. bots they're too good they're too good there we go This is quite the area. I think I've already killed more enemies in this area than I have the rest of the game. There's just so many. And this pulse rifle we've been using the entire game as well, by the way. It's still very relevant to this point in the game. These hammer guys are a little bit more resistant to it. That's okay. That just means we can heal more off of them. Hey, fellas. Okay, see some enemies here. Let's just start firing while they're off screen. Ah, spiders. None of that, dude. All right. I love that we can heal off of just doing damage. Good stuff. I think this game is just throwing everything in the book at me at this point. Ice three. Unfortunate. 
I have not found anything uh, that gives me ice three at this point. Uh, the only thing I can think is maybe you get those from some of the side quests. I've done virtually none aside from the very first one that I did at the very beginning of the game. So that could very much so be on me. Same grenade we're using right now. There's an item down here. Let's go grab it. Advanced component. Okay, about a hundred meters away. We're almost there. There's a boss over there of some kind. All right, let's get started. It's a giant mech. Let's do this. Gundolf is its name. Gundolf. Something I, I do not really get with the mech specifically is they have ranged weapons and they just still like charge right at you. It's like they try to stomp on you instead of using like their Gatling guns and their missile launchers that they have. Your signal's weak, but I can see you're close to the mansion area. It's just across that bridge. Well, I'm not down there with you. That god awful stench would flatline me. This is a pretty neat area. Level 25. We have indications Decane will try to activate it to prove its functionality to Malvor's Gelb. They must have spent stupendous resources on the AI. Even if it fails, they will want to gain something. Decane is to be terminated. She now serves as different master. And we have all the data on Menchen we need. Y Corp will reward you handsomely if you get this done. And you'll be given your independent contractor license. The mansion control SI should be located somewhere near the gate itself, deep within the facility. Good hunting. Right on. Okay, let's go ahead and level up here. Pump up our health. We need it. Boy, do we need it. Uh, let me take a quick look at armor again. Just to see if there's anything. A lot of the damage we're taking still at this point is largely physical uh there's some like explosive stuff that does fire damage but we're able to dodge that for the most part relatively easily so i don't see a whole lot of point in really worrying about too much of that those are an upgrade all around holy runner trousers heck yeah looking good let's see what we got All right, there's a bounty up here. Level 29 enemies right here. Holy crap. Thank you. 
Oh, what am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? I don't know what the game just did to me, but I couldn't move for a moment. Maybe it was something he did. Are you gonna, are you gonna peek? There you go. Level 29, he's got a lot of health, so he's got to kind of do this. He's the type of character that will absolutely outgun me right now. Okay, so I'm only level 25. <laughs> that guy was 29. That's a bit out of my league. Hold on, there's a item over here. Superior component. I think we have enough. I think we have two of them to level up our uh, our weapon here, but there's not really much point in that right now. Ow. I love when they group up like that. Level 30 enemies. Are you kidding me? Yep, come on up, dude. Spiders, go. Spiders, get them. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I am very under leveled for this. Luckily, our gun is really good. Maybe the experience from these guys will uh, boost me up. We're almost halfway through this next level already, so. I used to apply the same practice in, a, in an MMO I played growing up called Tibia, where there would be some monsters in the game that were just way out of your league, but if you could play well, then you could actually benefit from them and level up really fast. Specifically, I played what was called a Royal Paladin in that game. And... Basically, uh, you use like bows and crossbows on the paladin. It doesn't really make much sense in a lot of games. Paladin usually think of like a like an armored cleric type idea, but in that game they they're like archers. And I would go fight giant spiders, and they would give you know I think if I remember right it was 900 experience each. And so when when you're fighting them in with a game that has no max level to it around level 20 is when you gain enough speed in the game to actually outrun the giant spiders and so you could you could go from like level 20 to 50 in a matter of a few hours if you were able to uh, stay alive the bad part about that game is when you died you lost 10 percent of your total experience not not in the current level but total experience period so you could lose multiple levels with one death it was really really difficult it's a lot easier now. They've added a lot of things to that game since then. I think it came back out in like 1999, but yeah. Kind of aging myself with that one. All right, lock override.
and I have spiders, so it's fine or even. Riot shield guy here. Oh boy. Okay, bud, thank you. <laughs> what the heck? All right, you coming up here, dude? There you are. There we go. That wasn't bad. The lighting in this area is kind of wild. for the stars to colonize distant worlds but though we've come far one last barrier has always held us back travel between worlds has been slow arduous and done at immense cost now that will change with the mention portal we will travel instantly among the stars with it we will control the galactic market and restore the Ascent Group to its former glory. Ascenders for the Ascent Group! Impressive speech. If those deluded idiots only knew they're working for Malhorst Gelb. Ah, the irony. Team! Passion! Commitment! Open the Menshen Gate! You know, I was about to say that I'm expecting some Borderlands type stuff. And here we are. Perfect. Right on time. Borderlands type stuff. Where you open the vault for the first time in Borderlands 1 is just giant tentacle monster. Did I just kill the cane? One shot? Spiders while I do this. find the time to do that that's really uh that's really a thing right now go 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 okay halfway done oh that is a lot of damage on me right there do not like do not like Holy 
there's a lot of things being thrown at me here oh good this is healing me that's really great oh my god dude everything wants me dead spiders Ooh, that was not good. Risking it, risking it. Oh my God. Oh, there's so many I'm, I might die here for the first attempt at uh, at this fight though that's not bad at all just so many things all right we don't have to listen to this speech again we can just get started here all right the cane herself is a very easy fight This is the biggest problem is uh, my gun is not doing enough damage against these guys right now. And the fact of the matter is, is when they have guns as well and I'm out in the open, if they don't miss. So it causes a big issue of where I have to try to outgun these guys while surviving. That's just a huge dilemma right now. Like they're just, they just have so much health. Our moment. those uh spider bots took out the laser cannon guys i think they did here's our moment again Failed it. <laughs> it's just so many, and they have so much health. We're trying to save the grenade. All right, here's a, here's our time. Here's our time to shine. Go, baby, go. Here comes another big wave of everything. Oh, 
I'm stuck. Absolute insanity right now. Level 26, let's go. <laughs> All right, we took out the hacker. We can't do that yet. Ooh. Here's our moment. There's always more. Well done, operative. That thing almost destroyed the gate generator. It'll be some time before we can get the prototype functional again. Malhorst Gelb might have failed to acquire Menshen, but they did succeed in destroying the Ascent Group. We know Noghead has told you the truth behind Protocol 61A that Y-Corp was incepted as part of an Ascent Group emergency backup plan. The subterfuge was necessary. We had to avoid unwanted Malhorst Gelb attention until we could ascertain the scope of their powers. The original intent was then to revise the Ascent Group, but certain powers have decided that this will not be. The Ascent Group AGI will be taken offline again, and the hardware repurposed. The damage caused was too extensive. Y Corp owns Menshen. The Ascent Group will remain dead, and Malhorst Gelb will be confronted in due time. What's left of the Ascenders will be repurposed. You did your part in all this to the best of your limited abilities. Your contract is hereby fulfilled. We have upgraded your status in the Intercorp database, and you are now an independent contractor. The usual NDAs are of course in place. Speak a single word of this, and we will have you terminated. Nice work, pal. Quite complete with some assistance for myself, but still, very impressive. I took the liberty to install a small back door into the Manchin OS. Kira knows, but she can't remove it without destroying the gate. It's the sole reason you and I are still alive. There's nothing like a bit of mutually assured destruction to bring a corp to heal. No need to thank me, bud. Join me in Terraline instead. Level 72 now. So that's why they didn't just open fire on me there. That makes sense. It would have made, yeah, obviously would have made sense for them to just kind of waste me right there after everything was all said and done. But all right, guys, looks like uh, we finished this up. Let's go ahead and skip this, see if there's a cutscene afterwards or not. Yes. We just received word. Contact with the cane has been lost. It seems the gate prototype suffered a catastrophic malfunction and was destroyed. I'm not surprised. It was a pipe dream to begin with. 
What of our losses? Significant, but within projections. Unfortunately, we lost the AGI imprint credentials, but the gate itself was more stable than we've seen before. The Ascent Group, however, will likely never recover. We don't need the Ascent Group. Get the telemetry over to the other facilities, but tell no one about the other side. I'll communicate with our benefactor. As always. All right, so it seems like there is more to be had for this story. Overall, I don't feel like the story was the most gripping thing to start off with, but it did improve as time goes on. You know, a lot of devious things happening. A lot of these corporations in typical cyberpunk fashion fighting over very powerful things. So from the looks of it here from here on out since we completed all the main missions as was just told by that achievement there we can basically just go around cleaning up all the side stuff leveling up continuing to put you know power into our weaponry and all that stuff which is kind of neat uh, but that said guys that finishes up our playthrough of the ascent should there come more a DLC or another game later on for the, you know that continues on the story here I will check it out I'll make some videos on it we'll, we'll continue from there uh, but for now that's going to go ahead and end our playthrough here for YouTube thank you guys so much for sticking with me all the way to the end I think we're on part nine here thank you guys for sticking with me this long all the way through this story I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did it was a good time overall specifically the music and the graphics I adore through and through they're very very good I will be making a small review slash thoughts video on my overall thoughts on everything in the game so make sure you stay tuned for that that'll be out very very soon as well anyways guys thank you for watching once again make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you like and comment on the video as well thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video